But we're pulling out of a warehouse here in Texas, just outside of, I think, Wichita Falls is where we are at with a boom lift headed to McAllister. This is going to pay us about $17,700, and we've got four and a half or four hours, 15 minutes until we get to our location. It's 9.50 in the morning. We've made $35,000 so far, and we're on our journey to $1 million here at American Truck Sim. Looks like we've got to deal with a train up here before we get onto the uh, 287 highway. So we're going to come to a stop before the uh, arms. We don't want to be hit by a train today. There he is. You think if we blow our horn, he'll blow his horn? Let's try. Oh, yeah. There he goes. <laughs> How long? Oh, he's got a little bit to him, but not too bad. He's a little short guy today. Has he got some honey pallets? Uh, maybe that's not what those look like to y'all, but that's what they look like to me. <laughs> All right, train's gone. We're able to get over the track and turn right onto 287 here. We've got 236 miles to go today, and it's looking pretty clear. So we're gonna swing. Oh, we had a little turn lane. Just a tiny little guy, about the length of our semi. <laughs> All right, it's about 10.20 here. We've got a 75 mile an hour stretch of road, but we're only going about 50. Takes me a minute to speed up. Oh, by the time I get up to 50, they're gonna put a speed limit down to 60. Uh-huh, yep, seems right. There it is, 60 miles an hour. Well, hey, we hit the speed limit right in time. <laughs> Ain't that something. We gotta take this exit here on the right. Nice, easy, swooping turn. We're not in the state that we started out in. We were in, uh, our, our company is based out of Kansas. The, I think that's the newest state that SES has released in American Truck Sim. They've announced Arkansas and they've announced Missouri as well. So I'm really looking forward to seeing those two states coming up soon. But right now we are passing through Wichita Falls here down in the Texas area. It's an, actually a really neat drive through here. We're on an elevated uh, interstate or highway. It's a cool old church building, maybe. But we're just driving up here in the trees. <laughs> it's, it's always a weird little feeling when you're driving along one of these elevated roads, you know, up on the bridge, and the trees' tops are, like, slightly below you or at level with you. But we are moving our way towards Texarkana here, is what the sign said. Now, we don't need any fuel. We've got plenty of that. Our rest is pretty decent. We have probably, I don't know, above eight hours at least. And we only need three and a half to complete this job. So we'll be able to do another job here today probably. And uh, we'll maybe even be able to pick up another one before we have to find ourselves a place to park through the night. If I can, I like to shut the truck down by around at least 8 p.m., um, maybe 9 p.m. I like to start our day, you know, up there at 5, 6 in the morning. That way we can maximize as much of the daytime light as we can. We've got 183 miles. We gotta slow down to 45 on this. Ooh, easy. There we go. Don't wanna tip our truck. Oh, 35, okay. We're not, we're not out of it yet. Keep slowing down. <laughs> there. Remember that train we saw earlier? Is that him right there? Same one? Can't be, that one's way longer. All right, race the train, race the train, race the train. Who's gonna win? <laughs> How fast is the train going? Let's find out. He's going about 40. Oh yeah, he's going about 40. We're gaining on him now. Our speed limit's 75, bud. Oh no, he splits off. Bye. Good thing uh, nothing major was going on in front of us because I wasn't paying much attention. <laughs> but we moved off of the big roads. We're down onto just a two lane highway here. 55, nope, up to 75 now. Okay, well. That's Texas. <laughs> Whether or not these guys in front of me are gonna get up to 75 is a question. I'm kind of catching them. This car is hitting his brakes over and over because that truck in front of him. And that's gonna make me nervous. I don't want to get up there right behind them because you know how they are. It's a pretty little drive through here though. You get to see some of these rural homes, these farms, these shops. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Easy, easy. Watching that weight on the turn. We're good. We're not going too fast. Only 55 miles an hour right now, so. Which, hey, it's perfect because the speed limit's slowing down to 55 up here. Huh? See, I'm just ahead of everybody. I know what's coming. <laughs> it's not because I have no choice. Totally. Coming into some town here. 45. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, that's a red. Uh oh. That's a red. Boys. 
I don't know if I got enough brakes for this. Come on. Car, don't stop there. Don't stop there. Don't stop there. Don't stop there. Don't. <laughs> Why there? Why there? Why? Why? Explain yourself, sir. Could you move, please? Move. 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 There you go. Good job. Figured it out. Why did you stop there? That's a neat little area. Were you just taking a picture? Was it worth your life? Don't do it, cement truck. Concrete truck, okay? Don't test me. Oh, and then you're going to pull over in front of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People. People. Get get away from my truck. I don't want you around me. <laughs> you make this. Oh, look at that. That's kind of neat over there. Road rage, and then he gets sidetracked by some dead trees laying in a field. Oh, impatient. Go ahead, buddy. I'm faster than you, son. Come on now. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, son. Atta boy. Now don't cut him off. Don't cut him off. He's gonna do it. Yep. yep. Ooh, we got a light up here. Slow down again. No, sir. Please. 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 Anybody want some wine, by the way? Because we were almost inside of that trailer hauling some in front of us. I could get you a bottle or two, potentially. <laughs> You gotta tell me. I gotta be quick about it. <laughs> oh, he's playing basketball. Shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot. He, he's just gonna dribble it the whole time? Really? <laughs> he's working on his uh, hand eye coordination. He's working on his dribbles. I respect it. He's gonna be the point guard. Oh, my lord. We sure is getting some traffic now, boys. It was easy earlier today. Now it's Food 45 and all these people out driving on the road. For those of you wondering, yes, food 45 is 1245. It's lunchtime. Should we stop at this gas station? I don't really want the burrito. I see a lot of, uh, what are they, taco kingdoms. Let's stop at a taco kingdom. <laughs> they seem to be next to really cool locations all the time. I'll tell, them, I'll tell you that. What do we got here? Oh, is that a butcher shop? And maybe a... Oh, don't hit the guardrail, Jake. I'm looking at food. Easy now. By the way, our truck payment of $724 a month just came out of, of the uh, the account, so that's fun. Actually, the way this game works, it's $724 a day. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty little place. Can we pull in there? I felt rumble strips and knew my life was in danger. It was. <laughs> I gotta stop looking around at the scenery and pay attention to the road, maybe. Think about this. If you gave truck drivers vehicles that could more or less drive themselves, They'd probably just do what I'm doing and get distracted. Be like, man, look at that place over there. <laughs> All right, we're getting on this. X, ooh, 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 exit 642 is a little strange. Hold on, wait, gotta pay attention. Okay, nobody was coming, so that's good for them. <laughs> but we do got a red light, so we gotta be easy right here. So we're gonna go under the overpass there and hang a left. Are we getting on to that? I don't, I think potentially that's what's about to happen. Fellas, I have the green. Okay. Whew. They had me scared for a second. The sound of this blinker is driving me insane. That's the sound of a nine to five, boys. <laughs> Come on, truck. Move it or lose it, buddy. Round the turn. There you go. Kick it into gear. Get on the road. Not going to Gainesville. Oh, oh, yellow. We can make it. We're good. Taco Kingdom. There's one. How do we get to it? <laughs> oh, man. 150. I guess we'll have to get it at the next. We'll have dinner. We'll have a dinner, maybe. <laughs> hey, let me on the interstate. Let me on. Let me on. Okay. I would say thank you, but you don't really deserve it. I gotta pull into the weight station. It doesn't have anything to do with what I just did to get on the interstate, does it? Y'all don't have camera down here seeing that. Do oh, there's a cop. Hmm. Welcome to Oklahoma. <laughs> Come talk to our police. <laughs> That's what they just told me. Uh-oh. I promise, as far as I know, I don't even know what I'm oh, I'm hauling a boom lift. Well, fellas, I'm going to be honest with you. If you think I'm doing something weird with a boom lift, I don't know what to tell you. But if you want to take a look at my logbook and see my weight, then I guess here we go. All right, fellas, on your scale, what's it going to be? We're 25 tons. Well, then we're fine. We're within legal limit. Everything's all good for the truck. Let's get back out on the road. Thank you for slowing me down. Bye. Inspection parking. Oh, okay. Don't trash talk them too much. They'll make you pull in there, Jake. Steak night. Yo, where's that billboard? Is that the prime rib place I keep getting mouthwatery about? Yes. Okay. 
Maybe we find one of those for dinner. Oh, why is it all the advertisements in this game is about food and it makes me want to eat? Why? We are one hour, 59 miles away from our destination. We're going to be there by about 3.35, 3.40, somewhere in there. And it uh, looks like we're going to have enough time on our clock. We should have enough time to pick up the load and get a little ways down the road. We're going to have to mind us, uh, find us a parking spot for the night, though. Because we'll only have a few hours of drivable time after we get this load dropped off and the next one picked up. Welcome to Durant, everybody. They, they tell you that the, the, the capital is something, but I couldn't read it while I was driving. So anybody from here, go ahead and just let me know. Thank you. <laughs> Somebody will leave it down in the comments. Y'all got a good place for steak night? Because Pickle could use a good steak right now. Okay, we're about 30 miles, 30 minutes from our destination here. And this $35,000 is starting to burn a hole in my, uh, in my pocket. I think we got to spend it. So let's look into what it'll take to upgrade our garage so we can get some hired hands. Because if we can get them driving some trucks, then we can maybe make an even more money. And uh, I don't even have to do the driving. Whoa, what's going on up there? That's neat. Is that a geyser? Oh, it's just a factory. Aha. Hmm. Yes. Well... Makes sense. How am I speeding? My lord, y'all slowing me way down up here, son. 55 through the intersection. Good lord. Uh, understandably, you guys make a really complicated intersection right here. Wow. I mean, it's not that complicated, but it's a lot of lanes to manage. Especially when you see people doing that. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Uh-huh. Wanna die? Inches, dude. Inches. <laughs> we have discovered McAllister. Right up here to the right is going to be our destination. So let's get this. Oh, can I pull in right there? I would have, oh, there's a cop. Hi, officer. Can I pull in right there? Why is it telling me to go all the way down to this one? Oh, well, it works. We made it down here. Nice, easy turn, really. That was smooth. Good job. Big claps all around. Like and subscribe. <laughs> X-Tech Machinery. I brought you a boom lift. Are you happy? Somebody... That, probably isn't happy. They're now they're like, oh, we got to unload that. Great. But it looks like they want me to just put it in front of the ramp here, and I assume they'll uh, just pull it back themselves. But they're not saying back it to the ramp, so we're just going to pull it right up in front and see what they say. But I'll run inside with the paperwork, chit-chat with them for a second, and then we will be on out the road. Oh, 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 they're happy with it. I'm happy with it. Let's get paid. Now we got $52,000. All right, we definitely got to do something with this money. Let's see. Our garage in Topeka, in order to upgrade it, it would cost us $180,000. Oh, my, my. Wow. How much does it cost to just buy one? <laughs> it's more or less. <laughs> well, let's see what the bank is willing to do. Oh, we have, we'll, whoa, wow. Okay, we can borrow $480,000 from the bank. Okay, Mr. Bankman, give me 180000 for the renovation, and then we're going to get a used truck and hire a driver. How about that? So we'll take 100 right here. That's going to cost us 1800 a day. <laughs> and we'll take another 50 That's another 1200 a day. And I'm going to take three tens here to round it out to that 180 That way we cover the cost of the upgrade by the loan. So we have $232,000. Let's go ahead and upgrade $180,000. let us do it. Let's see our new garage. Okay, there it is. So we've actually got a paved lot. We've got multiple doors. We've, this place is nice. We've got siding on the, on the sides. Huh? We have windows that aren't broken. We have, we have lights that work. A fuel spot. Huh? We have grass. Never seen that before. This is nice. This is good for us. <laughs> it costs us $180,000. But it means that we're going to be able to put some more trucks in there. And more trucks means more drivers. And that means more money. So we can get two trucks. Let's see what we can do here. Use. Now we could get something nice. Or we could get two, you know, what I'm saying. And I'm thinking we get two... You know what I'm saying? Why not? <laughs> so uh, we got $10,000. It's on a three-star condition. Um, or to go up to four-star, we're looking at uh, $27,000. So it's a 355 horsepower, that about 29% permanent damage. And it's uh, got 900 and. 
5,000 miles, where this one has 22% damage, 370 horsepower, and it's got uh, 700,000 miles. And then this one, 700,000 miles, got uh, 100, 370 horsepower and 22% damage. So I think we're going to go ahead and get the Western Star right here. It seems like a pretty decent truck. What's this Volvo like? Oh, that Volvo is nice too. And we'll get that Volvo. How about that? Those are going to be the two new trucks. Let's go ahead and purchase this one. Or our two used trucks for our drivers. There we go. And one more. Let's find it. It is the Volvo we want to buy. I'm going to go ahead and purchase. And we will drop it right here. So we have two Western Stars and a Volvo in our fleet. Very exciting. We can actually drive any of these trucks if we want to. So if you guys want me to switch out and drive one of those other trucks, we got to get back up to our garage to do so. But I'm definitely down. In fact, maybe it set us up there. No, we're still in McAllister. All right. Well, in that case, we got to find a way back up there to try those trucks out ourselves. So let's find some jobs. We can haul a wheel loader on up towards Kansas. That's not a bad idea. But that might be a little heavy for us. How heavy is that? 15 ton? No, it's not bad. But I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's just switch to one of these other trucks for now. So we are driving the 49X Western Star. We can switch to the 5700XE western star or we can go to the volvo vnl for a little bit let's switch it up and drive the volvo shall we and we need to hire a driver there's only one available we've only found like one hiring agency so um you know he's not very experienced but we'll put him in uh we'll put him in that other western star it's the highest uh, the higher mileage one so we'll tell him go ahead and drive we've got one more dude that they're willing to bring on for us so we'll tell him he's also not very experienced to drive our old truck, and we're going to take the Volvo out on its very first maiden voyage. So, let's see what we can haul. A backhoe loader, maybe? We have 400 horsepower with this, so a little bit more than we were working with previously. It goes down to Hutchinson, which we have not been to. Let's go ahead and take the job. Now, we've only got about 40 minutes until that job do does not exist anymore, so if we want to get it, we have to get flying here. So, I'm going to pull through the... Uh, shop here with our new truck and once we get to the job site i'll show you all the volvo it is not very far it's right across the street so it won't take us too long i do need to get the mirrors checked on this okay so this is the destination that we're going to be picking up the load from and check out the volvo so this is a little day cab volvo it's actually really nice looking very clean very nice so it's a kind of a white color and it does have 699,000 miles around it, so close to 700. But I've just got our paperwork from the shack there, and uh, they told me to pull on around. It's going to be the trailer right on the other side of this bigger trailer. And I don't have my mirrors set yet, so it might be a little bit of a struggle to back onto this. But I thought I would get my mirrors set once I had a trailer attached. Now might end up regretting that and we might need to set these now but we'll see what happens we'll see if we can just slot right back into it we got it really good last time let's see if we can do it again here we go we're gonna be a little off oh that was pretty good we were just a hair but that went in nice and easy so let's go ahead and get everything hooked up and ready to go here we'll make sure that everything is working on the truck this is a really nice addition i like this volvo 400 horsepower too, so a little bit more powerful. Park and brake in, and let's go ahead and turn that four-way off. There we go. Let's get out of here. Three hours, 26 minutes um, until we get to where we need to go. And I have four hours and 18 minutes until I need to stop. So you know what? If we can make it, we're gonna boogie oogie oogie on that way, eh? I probably won't make it. We'll probably lose that hour in this, in the whole process. So really, I should pay attention and try to pull over. But we'll do that when we get a little bit closer. If we can pull over outside of our destination, then, then uh, that'll work out best for us. But for now, we gotta get out of Topeka and see how this Volvo drives. So far, I really like it. I just feel like I'm gonna wreck it. <laughs> All right, we're going to be getting onto 75 South here. We're taking this left. Nice and easy. If we would have gone straight, that would have gone to 470. That is not our destination today. we got to be heading this way. It is 410. We'll be there by 730-ish. 177 miles to go. And so far, we've got $22,000, and, well, we owe a lot of money. <laughs> but we do have three trucks running in the company, Two of them as hired drivers. The problem is they don't really know what they're doing, like at all. Brand new, fresh drivers. 
So I'm hoping we don't end up regretting that. Also, we did buy used trucks in fair condition. They're pretty decent condition. They're not terrible, but um, they definitely could be a little bit better. Uh, so we'll see how that plays out. Maybe can you know repair costs end up destroying us, but we'll see what happens. I really like the Volvo, dude. It gets right up to speed. Drives really, really nice. I'm not having any trouble getting up to 65, 70 miles an hour here. But I'm definitely curious to try out that other Western Star we ended up buying. So we will have to take it on a run here at some point as well. So if you want to see that, make sure you do like and subscribe. And let me know in the comments down below. All right. We're going to be turning right up here onto... Uh, did anyone see the sign? I was not paying any attention. We'll get it right up here. We're getting on 50 West. Okay. Let's do it. Heading this way. Big old fuel station right down there. If we needed to stop, we could have. But we still got time. We're two hours and 40 minutes until we're at our destination. And uh, I know we should be able to make it to our destination, or at least very close. So we've got another probably hour and a half, two hours that we can drive realistically. Emporia, Kansas. Next two rides. There we go. Good old Emporia, anybody? I don't know if I've been to Emporia. I think so. Yeah. This sounds like it. I've been to a few places in Kansas, not not too many. We've gone to uh, some rodeos down in those parts, but only really a handful of times down there. My goodness, I'm not trucked to it. I'm not I'm not used to my truck going 70 miles an hour. We're going the speed limit. It's a, it's a little uncomfortable. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> not used to being able to drive so fast. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Let's see that engine brake. How's that engine brake work? Come on, come on, please, 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 please. Please? Is it? Oh, it's got one. It's just very quiet. It actually works pretty decent, though. If you set it on high, it works pretty darn strong. But yeah, when it was on low there, it was a little weak, I'm going to be honest. But that's okay. Not a problem. We can adapt with that. This is the weirdest designed roads, y'all. Make normal exits. I'm just saying. Why? It got to be like... What is... It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine, Jake. It's fine. Just be happy there's not a lot of traffic. <laughs> it's easy to figure out when it's empty. <laughs> oh, come on. Now we can go 45. Ugh. The game started yelling at me like, no, 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 not 45 yet. Oh, you know what? I don't think I ever really messed with my uh, mirrors, but I kind of, they, they feel okay. Like my bottom ones could be adjusted. My top ones, yeah, they, they could be adjusted a little bit, but they're not that bad. We're speeding again. Look. If you don't want me to speed, make it harder to go this fast on your road. That's all I'm saying. It's not my fault that that's very comfy, okay? It's a comfy speed to do on your road. I got places to be. <laughs> I got food to eat. It's 5.40 p.m. We have 100 miles. Oh, no. Wonder what we're going to be able to find in Hutchinson. Very beautiful right now, though. Just to kind of getting a golden sky out. We got some light clouds up in the sky. We're in just kind of the plains out here. Just big fields, green grass. Some trees here and there along the creeks. And apparently, we get to go 65 out here, so I'm not going to complain about that. We've got an hour and 42 minutes until we're at our destination, and we're not getting yelled at yet. We usually start to get yelled at, I think, around an hour. Once we have an hour of drive time left, something like that. I could be a little off. So if that holds out for a little bit longer, I think we probably will be able to make it to our destination here. My goodness, we we're flying down this road. This is, this is a good truck. I like this truck. It has so much power. It is not a problem pulling this at all. We'll have to try some heavier loads with it. See how it does. Ooh, got a little bumpy back there in the road. Easy. They might need to patch that, boys. It was a slight imperfection. How dare you? <laughs> all right, taking this exit. Wichita Hutchinson. That's where we're headed. Hopefully they got some good food up in them parts. I'll tell you what. 45. Uh-oh. Come on. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Ooh, even 45 is a little sketch, son. More like 40. Dang. Well, there's the yawn. We got 57 minutes <laughs> until we are at our destination, so I think we should be able to just make it. Ah, it's going to be close. We might not. I would hate to shut down 50 minutes away, just 40 miles, but, you know. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. It's uh, currently 6.47. It's a little... Ah, the 
thing turned red. Okay. Well. Maybe. I'll start looking for one. If one comes up on this road, we'll, we'll pull over. But otherwise, we're going to keep moving. We've got 28 miles left on Highway 50. 65 miles an hour. We'll be there in about 35 minutes. Well, I don't know if we can last that long, but we'll see what happens. Don't need to be getting any fines. That would not help us on our mission. <laughs> All right, this is going to be our exit right up here. So we're slowing down, getting ready to take it. We're going to be turning right and then left and then right and then I don't know what but we'll see kind of a mess up here 20 minutes to our destination I think we could probably make it it's 7 p.m. right now though the, I don't know if they would you know even be able to take me right now they might be closed you never even know I need to look at the load notes okay they want it Friday between 4 55 a.m. and 11 35 a.m. it's Thursday so they don't even want it yet if I'd be showing up now I'd be showing up early they'd probably just be closed so tell you what, if I sleep though, how long will I sleep? I forget. Does my guy take a 10? Cause that'll be too late. No, he won't do that. We'll wake up around five or six, maybe seven in the morning. And it'll work out. Okay, okay, we're fine. Whew. Excuse me, Mr. Carr. I would like to get over into that lane, please. I'm going to be taking a left-hand turn. Excuse me, Mr. Fire Truck. You are now doing the same thing that the car was doing. I would like to get over into this lane, please. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Truck. Oh, everybody wants to take a left here. Mm. Let's see how it is. Popular left, eh? We all gonna go sleep in my spot, eh? Where, where is this taking me to sleep right now? Oh, hey, would you believe me if I uh, told you that I completely, absolutely missed the turn I was looking for or something? Would you believe me if I told you I'm only seven minutes away from the destination and I kind of feel like I should show up there early anyways? <laughs> we won't. But I gotta see, is this my left? I think this is where I turn left? Here? Question mark? Will that car let me? Do I have time? Surely. Surely. We're fine. There we go. We did it. All is good in the world. Not if there's a train coming, though. Don't jinx me. Don't jinx me, please. We're good. Oh! We're not good! Go! <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why with the train? You ain't gotta scare me like that. Come on. <laughs> oh, I'm just trying to go to this rest station, man. Is it really... That big of a deal? Oh, I suppose we're gonna get him at this one too, huh? Is the train coming here too? Should I just wait? I'm afraid now. Okay, I'm gonna punch it just in case. I think we're fine. Whew. Oh, that must be where they make the wind turbines. Oh, cool. Or maybe they recycle them there, one or the other. Okay, so it says that I should be able to sleep here at the underground bound is this a train museum? What am I at right now? What is this? Explore one of the eight wonders of Kansas. Can salt. Yo, what are you doing in Kansas out here? Whatever. Uh, you know what? They're going to let me sleep at the eighth wonder of Kansas, so I'm going to take it. <laughs> Whatever. I'm going to park into a parking spot and take my little nappy poo. That's what I'm going to do. Maybe in the morning we run in and find out what the eighth wonder of Kansas is. What do you say? I say, let me figure out how to park my semi in the... You couldn't park a truck out here if they've had a full parking lot. Good. They must not expect too many people at the eighth wonder of Kansas. Alrighty. Come on, truck. Beep, 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 on back. My eyes are starting to go shut. Whoopsie diddly. Not while I'm backing up, please. Only while I'm driving down the interstate at 75 miles per hour. Is that permitted? Okay, I'm in a parking spot. I did it a little hastily, but we're in it, and that means we'll see y'all in the morning. Good morning, Krusty Crew. It is 5.40 in the morning, and if you guys remember, they wanted it there by 11.35, so we've got plenty of time to sneak over that way. The eighth wonder of Kansas isn't open yet. I'm sorry, everybody. I was going to get us a ticket, but it's still closed. we got to go drop off, so we're not going to have the time. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. But for now, we're going to pull out of this little parking lot and go drop off this uh, trailer and get our money. Luckily, the traffic is pretty light here this morning. <laughs> Not many people out on the road. 540. Well, I take it back. 
There's suddenly a lot of people out on this road at 542 in the morning. Wow. Everybody going to work that away, huh? And now everybody from that way is going... Oh, just the one guy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Really? One car. Oh, now another one. Just outside of spawn. Okay, you know what? You know what? You know what? This is what I think about y'all. Mm-hmm. Make y'all stop. Because I got places to be. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta search your dominance in this game. It is what it is. Hey, I remember this bridge. We desperately wanted in this lane last time. We learned this time and just took it from force at the very beginning. <laughs> hey, I remember this left-hand turn. It wasn't near as busy last time we took it. Are you also doing a left? Are we doing lefts together, Prius? It, well, we were, but you didn't seem to want to do yours. I don't know what I did to make a guy not want to take his left-hand turn with me, but I'm gonna think about it for the rest of my life, I promise you that. Simon says, red light. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Wait, it was a joke. Okay. For a second, I was gonna, like, you know, the joke was like, okay, last second, slam the brakes, haha. -ha. And then it wouldn't slow down. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, you had the same problem, didn't you? Yeah, I see that. You know the line is like a whole car length behind you, friend? But that's okay. It doesn't really seem, ooh, that's pretty. Look at that old place. A little, is that a scenic location? Yeah, they got a little... They show you something over there. I'm not exactly sure what. We could have stopped and looked, but I got two important things. I got a prime rib place right there. Oh, we found the food just down the street, baby. Prime rib. You think they'll give me prime rib at 5.52 in the morning? Hmm. Leave it up to me to find the place, but not the right time. Dang. <laughs> All right. Excuse me. I'm going to be turning left into here. That's a nice old truck you got, sir. Oh, gosh. The curb snuck up on me. We made it. They want me to pull in again. Why does they always let me pull in? Why don't I ever get a back in? I mean, I'm not complaining. My life is a little easier this way, but kind of boring. Okay, we got our money. 185 miles is what we drove. Made ourselves $6,945. And we're going to unlock another skill point. Let's go ahead and fuel economy. Just more. More of that fuel economy. So check it out. In the last seven days, we've made $72,300. We've got $33,000 in the bank. And our, gar our garage is uh, only 48% productive right now. So we need to really improve that. We need to get our other drivers improving here. But they're uh, working on the road. He's on the road right now. He's on the road right now. They're driving. So the more they learn, the better they'll be. But now it's the next morning, and we can pick up another load. So... Trying to uh, see what we got. We got a bus we could do. We got a part of a wind turbine over to Colorado. We've got this going. Oh, we haven't been up there to the northern part of Kansas. Hauling some frozen food. That's not a bad little trek. 175 miles. All right. You know what? I'm down. Let's go find General Mills and get this uh, load picked up. We'll do a little inter uh, interstate. Or no. Inside of this state. So I guess that's technically interstate in a different terminology fascinating i got distracted by words sorry we're gonna go pick up this trailer at general mills and we'll see what we get going from there as i do a 28 point turn because there's no good place to turn this thing around sure is weird they wanted me to park that trailer there but whatever floats their boat i can't wait until we eventually upgrade our trucks to sleepers for everybody though because boy this sleeping in the driver's seat sure is bad on my back <laughs> fella fella Bella, hurry, hurry, hurry. Thank you. Just trying to pressure some people because I got places to be. Oh, they got a lovely bakery and a movie place and a jewelry place and a, a, that said parade, I guess. Oh, they got a building for parades. That's crazy. There's a neat little town through here. A little foggy this morning, though, isn't it? Oh, hey, they're leasing out of that place. And you'd have a barbershop right next door. Heck yeah. It's at the intersection of 2nd and Main if anybody's curious. Look at that. Wow. Okay, fellas. I got to get on around you. Oh, and we got a little river right here. This is neat. It's a cool little area we're driving through. Hutchinson. I appreciate you. Oh, check that out. They got a big old drop lot right there. I don't think... Maybe that is like General Mills is right across the street, but I don't think that's where we're going to end up going. We'll see. They might have to send us over there, but I think they're probably going to have our trailer right over here. So I'll go in, talk to uh, shipping, and we'll see what we can do. Okay, we've got our 17 tons of frozen food that we're going to be hauling here. 
They said it's right around back, so I'm going to sneak back here and try to pick it up. Try to go nice and slow for him. Don't want to spook nobody. I think they usually like you to go 15 or so back here. Where's my trailer? Where's my trailer? Any day. Come on, people. You said it was back here. Don't lie to me. Let me guess. Oh, yeah. Stuck over here where I couldn't see it. Mm -hmm. We got three axles on that. Good Lord. Must be heavier than I thought. We're a little off. Okay, I'm gonna have to sneak it over to the passenger. We'll do that right at the start. And we're gonna hit that way too fast. Slow down, get back into reverse one truck. And there it is. Boom. I'm getting pretty good at hitting that kingpin, boys. If you're excited about that, then you need to hit like and subscribe. That's all I'm gonna tell you, all right? But we got a reefer trailer. I'm ready to roll. Volvo's looking fantastic on this. This might be our new truck. It just might be, but we still got to try out that other Western Star for a little bit. We will, but for now, I am really liking this Volvo. And this morning, 6.30 in the morning, sun rays coming through the trees. Going to be a beautiful day to drive 175 miles. I know what I'm thinking. There's nothing better to do than sit here, drive 175 miles, and make thousands of dollars in the process. What do you say?